Hello, welcome to my channel. So, we have an ice storm headed our way in Michigan. And while we have been trying not to overspend for a month, um, we were going over our budget and I think we're going to be just fine. I've worked some overtime, my husband's worked some overtime. Um, we do need to get a hub assembly fixed on our truck. Um, so we are trying to make sure we can budget for that. And while we're going to go stock up for this ice storm, mostly we're gonna worry about um, water. We have, um, we always buy water for our house. We don't drink the well water here. Like we have well water, but we don't drink it um, because they have done fracking. And we have a water softener. So we're gonna go to Sam's Club. Let's go. Hey, Aaron, look up. Look at these rafts. We need these for summer. But we need this one right here for the river. What are you getting? Three? Should I have gotten another cart? All right, we're gonna get one of these six packs here for $30 because we have a heater that will work on these things. We need this. Not really, but we should get it. Yes. Any. Which. Do one of the smaller bags. Like the purple one has got the salt and vinegar that I like and the sun chips that Logan likes. It's got the Cheetos for DJ. Because, you know, DJ needs his chippies. <laughs> or we can do the big ones. It's the same for 30. And we eat less chips if you get smaller bags. Just do the smaller ones. I just slipped it. Okay. Hey, right here. Look it. Oh, never mind. It's cream, not caramel. Anything else? Aww. All right, so we are back. We spent 400 plus dollars. So we're gonna go through what I got and show you the receipt as to what we spent. Turn you around here. All right, so this is everything we got. And our total was the four hundred and forty-five dollars and four cents. Um, we did have some like club cash for a couple of dollars, I think like four dollars. So we decided to go ahead and use that. Some of this stuff, most of the stuff, is stuff that we get almost every time we go to Sam's Club, and then some of the things we do not. So we will, let's start with drinks. Um, so because of this ice storm, we actually wanted to stock up on water, and I have this water thing, the Primo water thing. And so this is the water that we put in it. We do buy like the Besco ones at the gas station because we have one jug that we'll switch out if we run out of water. Um, but we use this, but we buy these ones. So we bought three of these because typically when we go, we always buy three. Got the cat walking around over here, Luna. And then we got two things of the Ice Mountain. This is one of my son's He's really particular about the water he drinks. He doesn't like um, certain waters. He feels like they taste like they have salt in them or they have a chemical in them. And this is the one that he has found that he likes the best. So this is the only bottled water that we will buy if we have to buy bottled water. And we wanted to make sure we had some. Hopefully we will not get the ice storms like a whole ton of people have gotten this year and hopefully we won't lose power. But just in case, it's kind of what we were planning. Um, we had two things, a Sunny D. The kids will drink drink this so fast. They go they've been going they've been on a juice kick lately, so we got two of those. And then we found these. Um they say 
zero sugar and like zero carbs and zero it is carbonated so i don't think i'm supposed to be drinking it um but i'm gonna go ahead and try it uh we will see how it works out but it says like there's 20 grams of sodium so obviously that's not good but there's zero carbs zero sugars zero added sugar zero proteins um yeah still not good for you but we wanted to try them so we're gonna try them i got five cheese bacon macaroni and cheese this is something that we have never gotten before or never got before but i was kind of looking for things that would be easy to cook if we lose power because we have a black stone and then we also have our camper and that's got propane tanks so even if we lose power i don't have a way to plug in my camper and like run the heater but we got these um and we can run our little propane heater inside the camper and it will keep it warm for everybody and then we can also use the gas stove that's in there on the or the propane stove and so we'll be able to cook and i have cast iron and um so between the blackstone and the camper if we lose power we're going to be just fine i got a uh, chopped salad i love this salad um i'll mix this together and eat it over like four days just because I don't like while I do eat garbage food that I shouldn't eat I also do eat a lot of healthy foods mostly salads I eat a salad every single day twice a day um because I work in a factory and I can pack a salad and I'll pack a decent size salad and I will put ranch or dressing lately I've just been using a vinaigrette dressing which I really like that and I will do that for my snack and for my lunch at work. And then I don't eat much at home. I kind of fast while I'm at home. But then I'll some days I'll eat garbage food while I'm at home. Or if I cook a meal for the kids. Carbs are a weakness of mine. Like if I cook spaghetti, I'm going to eat spaghetti. If I cook lasagna, I'm going to eat lasagna. So this macaroni, I'm not a bacon fan. Which is weird. I know a lot of people love bacon. I will eat like almost every single meat. But bacon is just something that I've never been like... I really, really want that. It's, it's not something I like. So I'm going to try this macaroni, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. Velveeta. Another thing that I don't like, but everybody in my house loves Velveeta. So we got Velveeta because that's something that I can quick whip together in the camper, not take up much of the propane, and um, make sure that everyone eats something. We'll see. Um, two boxes of donuts. Me and my husband don't really eat these at all. All the teenagers in the house do. All the kids in the house, I guess you could say. Um, some of them are in their 20s, but, you know, they'll all eat them. So, there's that. Oh, this here, I think it was like 29 and some change. And so, um, but we got the six-pack, and I already have two downstairs. And we're figuring with the way this, we've lost power before, and we've used this heater to heat. And one of these tanks will last us the whole night. Um, so... With the two that I already have downstairs, plus the six-pack, will be good for four days, four nights. Hopefully, the power will be back on before that. Also, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I have a second job, like uh, my budgeting videos. I have a second job. I am a township treasurer. And thanks to the ARPA money that townships got in this year, our township, because there is nowhere for the people in our township to go unless they drive like into another city, to go like if the power goes out like um we don't have we have a food pantry at a church but it, they'd not like they don't let people just come in and stay so our township has put in a generator for power outages so if our if we lose power out here rather it's on my road or it's somebody else's road somebody from our township will go in unlock the township hall side not our offices but our township hall that we rent out. And that way people can use the bathroom. They can have power. Um, there's an electric stove. If someone wanted to whip something up for their family, they could. But it's a way for people to charge their cell phones, get warm. They can sit at tables, you know, have some coffee, whatever. And we'll have it open to the public. Now, if someone were to come in and abuse that, abuse that, like leave a mess, not clean up after themselves, you know, vandalize it, then it will be closed off and it'll go back to you can only come in if you rent it out. But if we lose power, that is another way for people in our area. And I thought that was just, I thought that was a great idea by our board. Um, 
I cannot remember whose idea it was. I actually think it was my brother-in-law because he's our supervisor. I think it was his idea and I think it was a great idea. So um, that is another option to stay warm if this power does go out. I got uh, 50, the 50 count of these and you saw in the video we were deciding on which ones we wanted while I was focused on the candy because you know candy and I'm really excited about my daughter's boyfriend he has a kid and I want to buy some some stuff for him um we got a big thing of paper plates and then I got these little single pizzas so the Schwann's man comes here but we've been trying to not overspend obviously I went to Sam's Club today we overspent but try not to overspend. And so we have not been ordering from the Schwann's man like we normally do. But I ordered from the Schwann's man. They have these, they have the little personal pizzas. And it's $12 for four of them. This right here was $11.96, I want to say, for 12 of them. This was a great deal. And the kids eat these as quick meals. And I can take these to work and put one in my lunch pail if I wanted to. Um, When we went to... Myers, I wanted these bars and I've been looking for these everywhere I go. I cannot find these anywhere but at Sam's Club around me. And I live in West Michigan, so I'm sure there's somewhere I can go. But between like the cities that I'll go to, like Battle Creek or like Grand Rapids, like the Myers, I have not found them. So maybe Myers doesn't carry them. I didn't look at Walmart. I don't go there very often, but Myers does not. So I got those. They do have the Nutrigrain, which I did buy the case of Nutrigrain, but I prefer these right here. Uh, we got the big thing of trash bags. I think the 150 count. I got mesquite grilled chicken. I'm going to th thaw some of these out, but I'm going to add these with the three pound bag. Um, I'm going to put these on my um, salads. I've been using like turkey and ham from the deli. But I'm going to thaw one of these out, chunk them up, have a few in the fridge thawed out so I can just add them to my salads every day. Uh, we got chicken breast tenderloins. This was something else that we thought would be super quick and easy. We can throw some barbecue sauce on them, put them on the Blackstone, call it a day, have easy meals. Even if the power doesn't go out or it does go out, this is something that is going to be quick and easy. Chicken fajita. These are already seasoned. We've gotten this quite a few times. All you have to do is thaw this out. It's ready to go. So we thought with that and the tortillas, we can add some cheese, throw it on the Blackstone. Again, quick, easy meals. If we keep power, just throw them on the griddle in the house. You know, like nothing, nothing to it. Easy, quick. I'm all about the quick meals this week. Um, we got the big thing of paper towel. And then my husband loves black jelly beans. And he's the only person in this house that loves it. But all the rest of us like the rest of the jelly beans. So this is a big old bag of jelly beans. And so that's what we got. And it's got the black ones in there. But I see more color than the black ones. So I don't like the black jelly beans. I, I don't like the smell of them. I don't like the taste of them. I don't like how they turn your teeth black. I don't know what it is. And then I found this. Um, it's a daily devotions for couples. And it was kind of expensive. I think it was like 17, yeah, 17.99. But um, I have one that I read. It's a, just like a woman's, a mother's daily devotional is what it is. Um, but I wanted to get this couple's one. I like the way that it's put together. It gives you like a you know, like something that could happen in your life, something that may have happened in your life, and then it gives you, you know, a Bible verse. So we are going to read this. Rather, my husband, I'll read it to him probably. Like he's not going to read one page and I read another. Like I'll just read it out loud and that'll that'll be it. Um, We found these cinnamon roll with cream cheese icing. So I don't like frosting. Uh, it's a texture thing. Uh, but I do like cinnamon rolls. And I've never thought to do cinnamon rolls in a cupcake form. So I thought this was super cute. It says best served warm. We will see if they make it to getting warmed up. Then we buy croissants every single time we go. My daughter and I love these things. We eat just the croissant. Nothing on it, just a croissant. We don't bother to warm it up. We'll pop it right in there. And then they also had the 20 count, the smaller ones. Um, we've never gotten the smaller ones. I don't think there's going to be a taste difference in them. But this way we've got small ones and those. I got two things of protein shakes because I live on these. I drink one or two of these every single day. So even though I just got some, I did a, a Sam's Club order in the mail and I only got vitamins 
and protein shakes. Um, we were out of our multivitamin and a happy vitamin. So I got those and I used rewards, uh, my Sam's Club rewards from using the credit card. So we didn't pay for anything. I should have done a video. I did not. But yeah, so I got extra protein shakes. Then we got a case of Dr. Pepper and a case of Mountain Dew. And that is it. That is our whole haul today. So thank you for watching if you've made it this far. And if you like what you're watching, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, all of the good stuff. And have a good rest of your day.